So I recently acquired one of these new lithium jump starters and this is the first one I've seen with this high of power output that I think it can actually stand up to and maybe even replace my lead acid base jump starter. One of these that have been around for the last 20 years. The biggest ones of these have about an 18 amp hour little just it's just a little lead acid battery that's all these are based on and i've had great success with this one this one has a brand new battery in it probably about a year ago so this one's still up and going i just you just replace the battery but this is the first one i've seen that boasts 1500 peak but a thousand cranking amps so it says that it can put out a thousand amps and i've had it for a couple weeks now and i have used it to jump start vehicles and it does exactly what it says it does it's been working really well but that's when batteries are just barely low so what i want to do is the battery is still good in here i'm going to pull the battery out of here and go grab a really really bad battery that's been completely removed completely deemed to the scrap yard and put it in here and see if this unit will start this little teeny thing you know, it's boasting that it puts out more power than this. But if this little teeny thing can jumpstart a completely bone dead, hasn't been charged in a year, two year battery, and start this big old V8. So first thing first, let me pull out the good battery. Let's go get a junk battery, come on. Backyard, go. Go get a junk battery. Come on, go. Remember that? There's the dead, dead, dead batteries. And some of these, some of these have been here for probably six, seven years. Um, I know that one, we'll use this one. I know that, we'll, we'll go see if there's a voltage in it. But I know this one has been dead for about a year. I probably put it out here about a year ago. So let's see what kind of voltage this one even has in it. Out with the good battery and in with the crap. This one has a polarity different. Will that even reach? Yes, it will reach. Now, this is a, a battery load tester. Not the most precise instrument in the world, but it'll give me a good idea of the condition. It looks like this battery is sitting at nine volts. Now, it's already sitting in the bad before I even put a load on it. This puts about a 100 amp load on the battery, and I bet you it drops off to nothing and it drops off to absolutely nothing. It's horrible. This battery has zero charge in it at all. So I grabbed a multimeter so you guys can see what the voltage is doing. You, think you can see this thing is sitting at roughly nine volts. So let's open up this thing, pull it out, and it should be fully charged for, um, it has a little, let's see, cigarette lighter plug out that will do small stuff, small cigarette lighter accessories, like a halogen lamp, a spotlight and stuff like that. It seems to work good on that. I did try it out on that. Um, this is a charger cable that just plugs in and this plugs into any USB. It does not come with actually like the plug-in USB thing, which is fine. Well, cause these are, you know, we have cell phones that all use those these days. So it's pretty abundant. So this is the, um, the actual unit itself that that you would actually use to jump start it. We just plug that in. There's a flashlight on it too, which is kind of neat. But the idea is, is we hook this up and then there's a little button right here that it turns a, a button and a light and the light turns green when it's actually putting out voltage. So we can watch that. And if there's not enough voltage, well, it's turning red. So I don't know if that means it's ready to go. If we push and hold it, Just something about pushing and holding. I don't know. Let's move this and let's uh, let's crank it. Let's see if this will start this bone dead, bone dead battery. I thought I was supposed to. Am I got? Oh, I'm reverse connected. That's why it's telling me I'm reverse connected. So smart on it. Okay, there it goes. So it knows if you're reverse connected. I'm used to my positive usually is on that side on this truck. There, it's turning green. Looks like it's putting about 16 volts into this thing. Let's 
We'll see if she starts. That is impressive because this battery is stone dead and you can see it's dropping right back down to 9 volts. This battery is 100% stone stone dead. So this had to put out the 1000 cranking amps at least to start this truck. Um, I guess the next test and one of the reasons I haven't got one of these before is because they've been such low amperage like 450 amps and that's fine for starting your little Toyota where the battery is just barely dead but not a completely, I mean, this battery is completely junk, completely dead, it will not come back. I mean, it's a, there is zero, zero charge in this battery. It's just acting as a place card. So I guess the ultimate test now is let's hook up just a jump start pack and that does not have reverse connection safety. And I almost just did it again. And this should be 12.7. This is essentially just running off of a uh, little teeny battery. So let's see if that, this is fully charged. Let's see if this says it's up to 600 peak, but they all have fake numbers. This one has an 18 amp hour little UPS battery in it, which is about what they all have. Let's see if that's enough to crank the truck. Well, that did it, but just barely, and it kind of helped that the truck's already been started. So this did work, these do work, but I've had this fail on uh, diesel engines and stuff like that. I've had this where this wasn't enough, where this one seemed to have, it feels like it easily has double the power. So the next thing I want to do is actually see how much amperage this puts out. So what I'm going to do is actually disconnect the battery, isolate it from the truck. It does not need to be on the truck for this test. So completely free of the truck. I want to hook this. Ow, no wonder, I got, the, uh, I got these leads on backwards. That's why I'm looking funky too. I'm showing negative voltage. It's amateur hour. So we're gonna hook this to this. And then we're gonna hook the load tester on. And this does have a scale on it. So this is not putting out any voltage into it yet. We're sitting at 10 volts. This is reading 10 volts is what this battery is. Let me zoom you in on this screen. So with the load applied with this little switch right here, you see there, uh, there's this green box right here and the bottom says two, four, six, eight, 1000 so that's supposedly 1000 cranking amps when it's sitting right up right up against there so let's see if we can actually get 1000 cranking amps so first thing I guess I got to push this button and have it do 16 there it goes and then let's load it it's loaded and it's putting what I would say is about 1200 cranking amps 1200 1300 Let's let off the load. It's still putting in 15 volts. I don't know how long it keeps putting volts in. Let's load it again like you're going to crank it again. Well over a thousand cranking amps. 1200, 1300 into this completely dead battery. Let's disconnect this. So now that thing's completely disconnected. The battery has a superficial 12 volt charge. And let's load test that. See, battery is like zero. I mean, it's maybe 10 cranking amps if this is the... The scale box right here, it's at two volts sitting there like that. So that does nothing. Let's see what the um, an actual lead acid box on here and do the exact same thing and see how many cold cranking amps one of these jump starting start boxes puts out. Okay, we're sitting about 12 something volts. So let's load it. And it's putting, I mean, this is 200 right here. It's putting, it says it's only putting out about 100 cranking amps is all. This jump starter box is doing 
and it's dropping down to 10 volts, which is hard, hard, hard for a vehicle to start. So this puts out, this little thing is putting out five times the, uh, the actual power than one of these. Impressive, it still, still shows four bars. Impressive. Let's do it again, I'm so impressed with this. This time, I'm gonna turn on the headlights. Draw even more. Uh, let's push green. So it's charging up. Show you that I got the headlights on. Let's try again. Super, super impressive. This thing has to be, it's nice and warm from doing that. Looks like we're at three out of four bars. So we could keep doing jump start, but this thing has to be five, five, ten times, ten plus times stronger than my jump start box with the battery that's only, it's under a year old, but that has a new battery. The old battery, so every, you know, couple years I take out the old battery, buy a new battery, put a new battery in it, and it goes for a couple more years, but this thing being so much smaller and 10 times more powerful. I mean, look at this. I actually put this in my pocket and I charged my cell phone when I very first got it because I had nothing to use it on. And then two days later, the wife left the, the dome lights on in the expedition and this started it like nothing. But I wanted to give it more tests. So hopefully you, you guys saw the test that it did and it was impressive. It does have things like a little cigarette lighter plug. We can plug this. this, this Oh, we got turned on spotlight into it. Impressive. I mean, this is a uh, hundred watt halogen. I can feel the heat from here. So this is one of those bright, bright. You used to see these all the time. You don't see them anymore. Impressive. Now, that's incandescent. That's not even LED. It does. It did not like. My only gripe was it did not like my uh, air mattress slash boat inflatable blower upper toy thing. It seems to trip it. So I put it in there. You turn this on and it would just trip this internally almost immediately and then I thought I had fried it but I didn't you just have to I had to plug the charger back in and then it resets itself I did that four or five times just to make sure you know you want to make sure you that it's not a dud when you first get it you still can return it off Amazon but super duper duper impressed with this price everything the the amount of amps this puts out this is invaluable to me I can carry it anywhere you can carry it in your pocket but I'm going to contact the company and because uh, you know i'm advertising their brand and if they'll give me a discount code for you guys if you guys want to pick one of these up i'll put it down in the video description and i'll put where i bought this off of amazon in the description as well so thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed that i'm super duper impressed see you guys soon bye what do you think of a cattle guard does a cattle guard stop a dog go eh, nope Really? Just come here. Tiptoe over here. Come here. Walk. Come here. It's impressive. All your legs go in the right spot.